I'm a patient here because I've got rheumatoid arthritis. It's the worst pain out. I've had three kids and it's, it's, no, it is worse. I lead a translational research group and of course work within endorms and lead clinical trials. They're mostly experimental medicine clinical trials, but also uh, clinically aligned research. What we are actually looking after are diseases that are driven by our own immunological system. So the main feature is the joint swelling and pain. Our research really has two parallel aims. One is to use targeted therapies as probes of pathogenesis, and the other will allow a better way of going about the drug development paradigm. Basically, we are trying to establish new treatment for the disease. I went to see the RA nurse, and then I went to see the doctor, and he straight away um, said that I could go on this biologic drug. Oh, I was over the moon. Things have massively changed in the last 10, 15 years with the targeted therapy for specific uh, factor in different pathway. I'd got more energy, I'd got no flares, I'd got no pain. You know, I could have the kids and get back to some normality and movement. We have several different biologic therapies actually approved for use in rheumatoid arthritis. And now what we look forward to is to cures. We're still using a trial and error approach, while we hope to have a kind of way of mapping and predict that that particular patient is going to benefit more from one pathway instead of another one. We're very lucky in Oxford because there's been a huge investment in basic science with ultrasonography in three dimensions. We can actually interrogate the tissue with state-of-the-art technology. We can begin to tease out why some patients achieve a partial response to a therapeutic intervention, some have a deep remission and, and some are non-responders. One thing I'm always amazed doing research is the goodwill from the patient to, to actually help and be involved. That is always amazing and a kind of daily reward. With the generosity of our patients, we can translate basic science advances through to clinical advances by making new therapies, but we can also reverse translate to understand the biology of disease. If other people can benefit, if you can, I don't know, some way help technology or drugs, that's why I agreed to do it. Oxford is uh, one of the best places where you can actually uh, lead this kind of research. And the consequence is that the whole understanding of human pathology moves forward at a great pace. And that's only possible when you have a critical mass of very thoughtful researchers in a really vibrant environment, uh, which is what we have here in Oxford. We're very fortunate.